This video is powered by CardMarket.com. What's cracking, YouTube? Jobber here, and we have before you the Volcanic Doomfire 2007 sealed Konami seal collector's tin. So, what do we have here? Collect all six tins. You know, obviously, we have our every one of these tins have a different secret rare in it. Absolutely amazing. I am pumped about getting this. These uh, these tins are actually pretty difficult to track down. They have different varying prices, so I, I don't know what a solid price of this is. I'm not a sealed product expert, but it's been really helpful having people like you reaching out to me and giving me great prices on these amazing sealed products you've been seeing on the channel lately. It's really helping out the channel, it's really helping out me. I really enjoyed opening old sealed product over opening the newer stuff. Obviously, when they come out with newer stuff, I try to like you know be on top of it and open it up, but I'm more passionate about the old stuff who brings me good memories from you know since i played the game since before the actual first set of uh the, of Yu-Gi-Oh came out lob playing just from playing the old game boy game so yeah uh without any further ado let's get cracking and if you guys have any cool actually i'll pause here any cool seal product please check out the instagram down below uh, follow me on there and shoot me a message if you have any cool seal product you'd like to donate or sell to me and we can work out the deal that'd be awesome it really has been helpful and it would be impossible to do this without you guys so wanted to wanted to say that wow that makes a huge difference taking that wrap off of these look how gorgeous this tin is wow that is beautiful i know i have a soft spot for red i mean you got the red bill going on here i love it I love the red, I love red and black combination. This is more like just like a fire theme, but absolutely beautiful. And I love how uh, the Konami makes those, these tins. I got them like a 3D tinge to them. I mean, check that out. That is beautiful. I mean, really such a gorgeous tin. Oh my goodness. All right. There's our volcanic doom fire here. Secret rare, absolutely gorgeous card. Wow. We're going to mail that into a PSA and hopefully we can get it back as a 10. What do we have here? I wonder why we have this here. That's the biggest question. Okay. How old are you? Tens. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's like you just answer these questions and you send it over into them. That's really cool. Huh, right on. I'm gonna have to uh, look into that. I'm sure that, that there's no way this is active now. This is a 2007 tin. I mean, 12 years ago, this tin was printed. That's cool though. That was good, uh, good thinking on their end. Let me seal up our gorgeous tin. Oh my goodness, I love this thing. Let's see what we have here for packs. They got the Tactical Evolution, amazing. Force of the Breaker, amazing. Strike of Neos, another amazing set. Cyber Dark Impact, one of my all time favorites. And we have the Power of the Duelist booster set. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see what we can get. We'll just open up the Power of the Duelist. Maybe we should open them. I don't know if that was in. Eh. We'll just open it up just like this. That'll work. Power of the Duelist. Well, I'm hoping that. Uh, Work and everything's been going well for you guys. You guys are staying out of the heat. It's been getting pretty hot over here in Reading. Actually, uh, I have my cooler going. I have a fan over here pumping on me, and I'm still feeling a little, uh, a little sweaty. So, gets, uh, gets hot. I know some areas that get hotter than Reading, though. One of my friends over there in Arizona. Oh my gosh, those are uh, cookers. You got an alien warrior here. Very cool. And there's a D spirit. Alien gray, very cool. Yeah, it's weird because these they, these are common cards and they're like <laughs> slightly bent. Normally when you see cards that bend like that, or they're foils and it's because of humidity. And uh, yeah, like even when it gets over here, like it's, it'll rain winter and then when summertime happens, it gets really humid, then my cards all start bending and then they flatten back out. Because in Redding over here in Northern California, it, uh, it gets very dry, which is actually good for cards. Yeah, that's crazy though, having these commons <laughs> bent like that. And we have our Cyberdark Impact. Got some beautiful ultimate rares in this set. And the Cyberdark Dragons, Edge, Keel, so on and so forth. Let's 
Oh, that's cool. The Dark Locust level four. Level down? It's a quick play. Oh, nice. Cyber Ogre number two. It just says Cyber Ogre two. But yeah, that is awesome. Okay, all right. Well, we'll do a little shout out here for our KMC Hypermat sleeves. I have a link in the description down below if you guys are looking to buy any sleeves. And you can use the, the code there and save yourself a little bit of money if you want to get some sleeves. These are uh, personally my all-time favorite sleeves. These people did not approach me. I approached them. So to make it clear, these, these are my favorite sleeves. <laughs> and we have a chain strike here. A justy break. I love the, these uh, barrier statues. We ended up getting two of them. They are, and they are really interesting. So these are almost like a fossil data. So you can't special summon any monsters other than what they are as an element. So these you can only special summon earth monsters as long as it's card race face up on the field. It's kind of interesting because you can you can have a deck based around just having all your monsters being earth. So you still be able to combo while your opponent can't because you have this guy on the field. So that's uh, that's my logic behind it. I really I think that's really cool. It's false on you just can't special summon all together. So you can't play it like a combo deck, you know? But with that, you could if your entire deck was all earth, or mostly anyway. Kind of cool. She in the castle. Radiant spirit here. Six samurai. The six samurai deck is absolutely was crazy. Oh my gosh. That thing was always scary. Wow, this guy is uh, really freaky looking and very, very intimidating. It's uh, it's interesting in the normal monsters how like much you are always used to seeing the monster effects and they're like just a darker color in general. And then you see these normal monsters, how much brighter they are. And when they become, when they're ultimate, oh my gosh. I mean, beautiful looking. I love the colors on it. It's like a piece of art. This is one of my all-time favorite things about the card game in general is that actually the, the art. And then deck building. I really enjoy deck building. <laughs> All right, so we have the Force of the Breaker booster pack here, which is... Uh, Going going along with our, our tin. So maybe we'll have some cool love in here. I actually really like the way the pack looks too. Same thing as the tin. The really cool uh, color combination out there. And so we got the Crystal Beast uh, Colbat Eagle. Crystal Beast deck is also really was a really fun deck. I don't know how competitive it is now, but it is a, it would be really interesting to see someone invest some time into it, trying to make it good. So, uh, no ultimate rare, unfortunately, but this guy is, uh, he is a ninja. <laughs> this is, looks like a more relaxed ninja, in my opinion. Well, we got the Crystal Beast Cat. Okay. And we have our last booster pack here, the Tactical Evolution Booster Pack. Let's see what we can pull out of here. These packs, all the packs are, I guess, a little bit, a little bent. That's weird. I wonder if, I don't think all the cards, no, not all the cards look at them. Oh, they're like, some of them are bent different directions. <laughs> I put the cards on top of each other. That is insane. Oh, weird. Okay. Common Charity, so rare, no foil, man. We end up getting one foil out of our booster packs there. We started right out with it. <laughs> the Volcanic Rat, 500 attack, 500 defense. That is a really interesting looking card, oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, Venom Swamp. All right, well that is, uh, that's it for that. And then we have uh, well, the two foils that we ended up getting. We got the Cyber, the Cyber Ogre 2. Fusion, Ultra Rare, then obviously the tin itself gave us this beautiful Volcanic Doomfire Secret Rare, which is really cool. I'm going to get that thing graded, definitely. Try to uh, preserve these really old classic cards like that. And uh, I don't know, hopefully we'll get a 10 on it. That'll be really cool. And this beautiful, beautiful tin. And then, yeah, I'll just take a look at this. Uh, I'll take a look a little further into this. This is actually kind of interesting. I wonder if something like this is still in existence in the game. Uh, I'm not a... I'm not totally sure if it is or not, but yeah. All right, well, uh, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this. It really does support me. It makes me feel like I'm doing my job right. Give this video a like, another way to support. Uh, subscribe and bell if you're new to the channel. And follow me on Instagram. Nice, easy way for you guys to get in contact with me. And if you have any cool sealed 
uh, product you'd like to donate or sell to me, please message me on Instagram as how I've been able to get these amazing classic old school steel products for the, for the channel has been so helpful. And I am infinitely thankful for all of you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Jobber here is signing out.